Dimax. It looks so beautiful today. I'm gonna remember what you look like forever. And I hope you remember me the same way. Clean. <laughs> I'm glad our last time together was happy. But I'm leaving tonight. I'm leaving the flock. And this time it's for good. I may never see any of you ever again. The thing is, Max, that everybody's a little bit right. Dylan. Dylan's a little bit right about how me being here could be putting the rest of you in danger. The threat might have just have been about Dr. Hans, but we don't know that for sure. Angel. Angel is a little bit right about how splitting up the flock will help us all survive. And the flock is a little bit right about how when you and I are together, we're focused on each other. We can't help that. The thing is, Maximum, I love you. I can't help but be focused on you. If you're in the room, I want to be next to you. If you're gone, I think about you. You're the one I want to talk to. In a fight, I want you on my back. When we're together, the sun is shining. When we're apart, everything is in shades of grey. Please forgive me for turning our world into shades of grey. At least for a little while. You're not at your best when you're focused on me. I mean, you're at your best, Maximus. You know your best, Leaderness. I mostly need Maximus. The flock mostly needs Leaderness. Angel, if you're listening to this, it ain't you, sweetie. Not yet. At least for a couple more years. The flock needs a leader to survive. No matter how capable everyone thinks he or she is, the truth is that they do need a leader. And Max, you're the best leader. It's one of the things that I love about you. And the more I thought about it, the more I got assured that this is the right thing to do. If not for you and me, but for the flock. Our flock. Please don't try to find me. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, besides wearing that suit today. You'd ask me to come back and I would, because I can't say no to you. But all the same problems would still be there. And we had to go through this all over again. Please, only make us go through this once. I love you. I love your smile, your snarl, your grin, your face when you're sleeping. I love your hair streaming out behind you as we fly, glistening in the, in the sun, as long as, as, as there isn't too much mud or blood in it. I love seeing your wings spread out, white, tan, and speckled, and little downy feathers right at the top of your shoulders. I love your eyes whether they're cold or calculating, or suspicious or warm, like when you're looking at me. The best warrior I know, the best leader, the most comforting mum, the best warrior I know, the biggest goofball, the worst driver, the truly lousy cook. You kept us safe and provided for us, in good times and bad. You're my best friends, my first and only love most beautiful girl I ever know, with wings or without. Tell you what, sweetie, if in 20 years we haven't expired yet, I'll meet you at the, where we first met the Hawks. You know that place, uh, the cliff. It's 20 years today. I'll meet you there. Goodbye. Dear Max, you look so beautiful today. 
I'm gonna know what you remember. I'm gonna know what you remember. Yeah, because that works so well. That's definitely in the letter. That's definitely what I wrote.